Hey guys, welcome back. Good morning. How are you? Good afternoon. So welcome back and I am picking up from the last video that we left off on. It was cut off, okay? So I hope you guys had a great sleep. Hope you guys had some coffee and I'm going into part two and we left off on this player player energy. All right, that was the last card from the video that cut off on part one. We're returning, okay? Thank you, everybody, for returning with me. Welcome back, okay? So, we're dealing with a player, all right? We're definitely dealing with a player. So, it's like every time I try to give you a straight message from the Divine Masculine, the Holy Spirit always jump in and let you guys know some additional energies and messages that you need to know. Okay, so let's see what's going on with this player and what is it that you need to know and what we'd like to share with you about this energy that he's in right now is definitely associated with Dark Knight of the Soul. So your masculine energy is in the player mode, Divine Femme, you're in a ready mode. To You're ready to begin your life, to begin this journey. Holy Spirit, give me some more energies on what through the Divine Masculine want to tell his Divine Femme. Let's clarify this player energy, Holy Spirit. All right, because he's under a love spell. So someone could have definitely put a magic spell on him to just be a player. They don't want him to act right. They want him to still be that player and hustler, you know, still be out in the streets. All right, because he's insecure. He continue to stay around insecure people. He have a tendency to make other people feel insecure as well. It could be some body shaming energy there. Also, unrequited love situations that he continue to stay stuck in. All right, with the past love. And he's guarded from this person. But he continues to stay stuck in unrequited love situations with past people. And that's what he's trying to say. Okay? He have a problem with cutting ties. He's trying to. All right? He's struggling. All right. And he want to make the first move towards you. But this person is a flirt. And that all coincides with his player energy. So this is what's going on. This is what he want to tell you. All right. So this is picking up here. And he secretly admire you, Divine Femme. This is now Wednesday morning, September 923. OK. And he want to take his time with you. So it's like he want to slither. I mean, he want to come back into your life, okay? But he's still stuck in player energy. If he's in and out, he's stuck under a love spell, okay? Let's see what's going on with you, Divine Fam. What are you ready for? What are you ready for? You're tired of waiting on this person. You've been ready a long time ago. You've just been waiting here, okay? Holy Spirit, what are you waiting on, Divine Fam? You just want your own personal space. You have stepped back from the situation. There's no happiness here. You guys feel like this is an unrequited love situation as well. All right? You feel like this person needs validation to be with you. It's like you got to get the okay from your friends and family. You feel like this person is kind of weak-minded. All right? To make his own decisions in his life. It's a lot of fake friends. You guys know that there is there. You guys are strong and you feel like if this person needs validation to be with you, then you're good. You don't give a fuck about that. You'll stay in your own personal space. All right? You know this is your twin flame, too. You guys are mirroring this energy. You know that you guys are meant to be together. All right? The only validation you need is from the Holy Spirit. All right? That's all you need about this commitment. You know that you guys are meant to have this commitment. You definitely know where you stand with this twin flame journey, Divine Femme. You know what it's all about. And you do want a commitment with your divine masculine. You guys are on the same page for our energies, but no one's making moves because of deceptive energy. You are in acceptance to this journey. So you definitely know what's going on. You're prepared, divine fam. Okay? And you're in solitude. You could be in hermit mode, spending a lot of quiet time alone by yourself. Okay, so you know what's going on here. You know how you feel. So let's find out what is Divine Masculine's intentions when he comes towards you. And I'm still using the love and tragedy. Holy Spirit, what is his intention? Shall he come towards Divine Family? All right. 
He knows that you're ready. He knows this, that you are ready to go ahead and either utilize your free will or go ahead and start this union. So he knows that you're ready. But he's busy stuck under a spell. Divine saying this is the major holdup, is that he's stuck under a spell. His intentions to come towards you, and also he could be doing spell work on you, trying to manifest you back in his life. He could be doing this to you, Divine Fam, because he know you're ready. It's that beauty and the beast type of energy. You still feel like this person, you know, have, you know, dark soul of the night energy. You still feel like they got that hustler mentality, that player mentality. You're still feeling this. You're feeling your beauty, but you don't know if you and this person is on the same page anymore. All right? And they could be trying to confuse you through a love spell, through black magic. Okay? Holy Spirit, give me some more energy of his intentions. Because this person know you feel like that. All right? His intentions is actually mirroring each other, being in acceptance to this journey. Divine saying that's at least 50%, okay? It's all kind of signs and sim symbols, synch synchronicities and everything. All right? Also, throat chakra in regards to this heart-to-heart -heart conversation. What is his intention? Holy Spirit, what is the intentions of the Divine Masculine? Look at that. So he's definitely feeling your energy, but he's still seeking validation. Still seeking that, all right? He's letting you stay in your personal space. That's his intentions. He's still not sure. He's going to leave you waiting because he's not sure, all right? He's not sure about his past love. He's not sure. So you guys are definitely mirroring each other about building with you. He's not sure if he want to come in and build with you, all right? He could still be building with a past love trying to build with a past love so maybe you know it's time for him to let go all right he could have been building with a past love that he let go and now he want to come in and build with you and there's a great possibility that you guys have let your masculine go you have let him go but he do want a new beginning all right so he could have let go of, of, of a past love and he want a new beginning with you. There could be a possible pregnancy here. Okay. Any more messages, Holy Spirit? A secret pregnancy here. I uh, hear. And this masculine energy still is carrying a tortured soul. It's still a tortured soul energy here. They're still not healed in this situation. Because the vice said they still have not closed out cycles. That's not servicing them. They still haven't did it. All right. So it's still like a major weight energy here. OK, so divine film, while your masculine is still hesitating on closing out cycles and in the seven of cups energy of confusion and dealing with options and trying to make choices and to a to a pinnacles juggling to a source confusion undecided. All right. It's all like. He just holding up the whole thing, stalemate energy. And you guys feel like you need time, you know, to you have been loyal to this person. And you know everything that you want. And all he's doing is bullshitting and wasting your time. This is my badass bitch chronicles. Okay? And you feel like this person is doing nothing but wasting your time. You know what you want. This person needs to level up and get on your page. Or they need to keep it stepping. Okay? The next energy here is you guys could have found somebody new and y'all feel like this person is better than your divine masculine has ever been. You have found someone new who's on your level. You could be a boss bitch. You very mature. You know what you want and you're tired of playing mind fuckery with your masculine energy here. Okay. Here's another card that came out and you was right all along and you wasn't kidding and wasting any more time with this person. A lot of you guys have utilized your free will and you have moved in another direction. This person thought you were bullshitting, but hey, you wasn't. You wasn't. I'm sorry. You was not. You wasn't. Bullshitting around with this person. So you could have went in another direction. Okay? And 
Your next girlfriend should be thankful for me making you into a man. All right? Your masculine could have learned a lot of shit from you. And instead of him working out things with you, he chose impersonator. Impersonator. I can't talk this morning. All right? So it's a lot of tongue-tied energy and a lot of um, heart chakra energy. Like someone is very scared to have this conversation. Okay? So, Divine Femme, you're letting your masculine energy know that the next time he get another bitch, all right, that you have schooled him into the man that he should be for his relationships because you showed him some real love in a relationship and how a real relationship should be. Okay? So, since you like imposter bitches, go and um, take that energy, that message, that lesson, and put it towards someone that you can grow with since it was not your divine femme. Okay? And did you expect me to wait for you? Divine femme, you guys have waited long enough. You got tired of waiting for this person. And you're letting this person know how much longer did you expect me to wait for you? How much longer, you know? What else did you expect from me? And this is what you want your masculine energy to know. I am sexy, I'm fabulous, and I don't need you to tell me that. Because a lot of you have found your self-worth and your growth. You don't care what the masculine energy think anymore. All right? I feel like a lot of energy was body shamed towards the masculine energy, looking for a better body, a bigger booty, more titties, and all this kind of stuff like that. And you didn't have all of that, Divine Femme. You had a beautiful body, but you had a beautiful mind, body, and soul. And all they was looking at was the lust. All right? Because a lot of these masculine energies had a sexual addiction. Okay? So, you know, they didn't see the beauty in you. They were looking for the outside lust and beauty, okay? And the tears left when you walked out the door. You're basically telling your masculine energy that you are finished crying over their ass. It's no longer worth it. You're letting them know that you're done crying here, all right? Your tears are gone, divine film, okay? You don't give a shit about this... Look at this, the next card right here, commitment. You don't care if you have it or not, okay? You don't care if you're committed to this person anymore. You're no longer putting all of your energy into this anymore, you know? And I'm going to say this is about 50-50. Some of you guys still are waiting. Look at that, for this communication to come in. All right? And it could be via uh, Facebook. It could be um, some... Uh, media pages or something like that, that some communication might come in. Divine is saying you can't run from this connection. You can't run from this. This is something that you guys are going to have to face because it's part of your purpose. Okay? It's part of your journey, your purpose, and your mission. Okay? So, you got to wake up and face reality, Divine Film, on certain things. You got to close this connection out properly, utilize your free will, or this energy will always be stuck in your energy. Okay? So you got to wake up and smell the coffee, and you got to decide what way you want to go. Which way do you want to go? This way or that way? Do you want to have a new beginning on your own, call in a soulmate, and continue your spiritual journey? Or do you want to go back to your masculine energy if he choose to come back to you? So it's choices that you have to make to go further, all right? And worry gets you nowhere. You just got to, like, surrender. This is free will and have faith and believe in the Holy Spirit that they will take you through this. Don't worry. Your masculine could be worrying as well about this connection, about if you have walked away. You're going to possibly hear from your masculine energy in the autumn, which is coming up right now here in the fall, okay? Or by the winter. So sometime before the end of this year, you're going to hear from a masculine energy. And here's another card sticking out here. And they could possibly want growth. But they have to grow as well. And you have to grow. It's a lot of things that need to be healed here. And they could be inner childhood wounds as well. Okay? Any more messages? All right? And this is feel it, speak it, and believe it. So what you speak and what you put out there is what you get back in your life. Okay? 444 energy. What you speak is what you bring in your life. 
So speak well of yourself and what you want and what you want in your life and the type of people that you want. And that's what you get because a lot of you guys are going through a transformation. All right. A lot of energy of transformation here. So just make sure that, you know, you see the growth, you find this purpose, you learn these lessons. All right. And it's causing a lot of anxiety. A lot of you guys still aren't seeing things clearly. OK, aren't seeing things clearly still. All right. So nothing good comes from without hard work and dedication. So divine femme and masculine energies, y'all have to put the hard work in. You have to dedicate yourself to find out your purpose, to find out your mission, how you can serve humanity. Divine saying, put the work in. You can't just sit back and wait for results when you haven't put anything into it. Okay, so it's work to be done. It's growth that needs to take place here. Okay, so the next energies that I want to go into is how are you two with some heart space energy from you two? All right, and I'm going to go in on divine masculine. What is some heart space energies about how he's feeling about the divine fam? Shall he return? Divine fam, right out the box. You're feeling lonely. You're tired of this situation. You're definitely feeling lonely. You're just tired of this. It's getting you nowhere. This person leaves you lonely. Dang. And you're ready to have some fun. Even if it's with someone new. Divine saying you're about to have some fun. And that's why this card jumped out on the table. Okay? But you got to have patience. That oneness, this connection is coming. It's coming there. That oneness. All right. So divine is saying that possible union could be coming here. All right. Somebody love your smile. You need to smile more when you go out. Take that frown off your face here. Divine fam. So this is your energy that's coming out here. This is your energy that's showing up here. How do you feel about your divine masculine here? How do you feel about your divine masculine? I get some energy that you guys are trying to do your own thing. You do feel like your divine masculine is sweet. All right. Sometimes they can be sweet. Is that how you feel? All right. So some of you guys don't want to give up. And you're asking your basically your masculine energy not to give up, you know, work on yourself to heal these situations. You guys got a lot of passion for your masculine energies. You really do love them. OK. And you're telling them almost not to give up, even if you guys are not together. Because, you know, a lot of them are stuck in toxic situations, you know, having multiple choices, multiple keys. This is what divine is offering you. Multiple opportunities, divine fam. All right. And you're letting your masculine know that you do have other options and other choices and other keys to people who hold the key to your heart. All right. Divine is letting them know, too. So divine fam, you can have. Up to two other people that could be coming around you. All right. But you must make sure that you don't get caught up in illusions. You know the red flags. Pay attention. All right. Don't get caught up in illusions and bullshit. You know, notice all of these three people here, these three keys, all of them not right. Okay. And it starts with loving yourself. All right. Work on yourself first. And this is the type of energy that you will bring in. When you start loving yourself, you're bringing people who love themselves and then they'll know how to treat somebody because it's all about love and comfort and peace. All right. And you'll start feeling this way. You'll start a new relationship with love, genuine love, being authentic. OK, knowing when to cut shit off because of red flags. All right. And this is you let your masculine know that you do love them. All right. Your heart still loves them. All right. They're still in your heart space. Holy Spirit, give us the masculine energy of how he's feeling about the divine family. How he's feeling about the divine family. I just get masculine energy that's stuck in so much bullshit. He's still stuck in bullshit. It's still secrets. It's still truth. All right. The masculine energy it needs to balance things out. Balance their life out. Balance situations out. Balance their money out, jobs out, bitches out. It's just so much balance that needs to be done here. Look at this. Because they had a crossroads in their life. They can't make decisions right now. They don't know what road to choose, which road to choose, okay? And um, this is like just having multiple options there. 
Look at all those different roads. You know, that's like four, five, six roads, all right, to choose different options to go. But they feel like they're on fire. They want to be on fire. This is their energy. It could be a fire sign that they want, you know, okay, that provides them unconditional love, strength color. It could be a Leo somewhere. Okay, Holy Spirit. The energies. He wants to start this romance. Start this journey with you. This is his heart space energy. It's a lot of sexual temptation and lust energy with you, Divine Femme. All right? You feel at home to them. You're their comfort zone. You make them happy. Okay? Holy Spirit. What's the energies of the Divine Masculine at this moment? Here. They want to share their love with you and vice versa. This is what they want with you. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for your beautiful love and energy. For the Divine Masculine, what are the messages that he wants to share with the Divine Femme? That he know that you guys are in this sacred partnership together. He's your emperor. You're his empress. This is sacred union. He wants this. He loves you, Divine Femme. You offer so much happiness to your Divine Masculine. All right? He want you to still have a heart for him. He don't want you to have unrequited love for him. He want you to have a heart for him. Still open up your heart to him. Okay? Because what? He want you to know that he love you too. And this was your ending card as well. You two really love each other. This is real. This is authentic. All right? That was your ending card. Wow, I got more messages here. All right? And he want you to feel safe with him. And he know that you do feel safe with him. And he feel this way about you. Okay? He wants you to be happy. He wants you to feel free. All right? You guys have freed yourself from this masculine energy. And he feel that as well. All right? And he know that you are powerful. He know that you are very strong. A lot of you guys could have been working on your body. Going to the gym. Just working out in general. He know you're rehabilitating. And he's in acceptance to you and who you are and what he want with you, what you mean to him, this twin flame journey. Okay. All right. Holy Spirit, we're moving on to the next deck. And look at the bottom card is he feel like love is all you need. He's identifying the fact that he could be in love with you, divine them. Okay. Ooh, so hungry, hungry. All right. So the next energy I got out is it's some things that you should know about the divine masculine he have been a fake he have been lying about things he have been putting it out there but he's been very fake okay so look at that because he's been keeping you a secret divine fam this is one of his secrets about what he's being fake about how he feel about you okay how he feel about you keeping you a secret Okay, Holy Spirit, let's go to the energies. What are the Divine Masculine secrets that he's hiding from the Divine Femme at this time? This came out in reverse. So, I hate nothing of you. It came out in reverse. So maybe he's envious and jealous, and he do kind of hate you right now. When things aren't going in people's favor, and when they're facing their karma, he kind of, you know, get mad about shit. Okay? He feel like things that's happening in his life is possibly due to this twin flame connection. Okay? So he is feeling like he kind of hates you right now, Divine Fem. Like you're causing an uproar in his life. Okay? Alright? And also, he might want to express something to you. He might want to expose, reveal something to you. It might be a recording about something. In regards to you or how he feel about you. He maybe was going to do that, but maybe he changed his mind, okay? The next energy is that he's still toxic. He could be drinking a whole hell of a lot. Some of these guys are drinking, or females are drinking, um, almost to a poison level. It's just heavy. It's very toxic, okay? And you guys feel like your masculine is toxic, all right? He's definitely hooked on sex, having all kind of tantric sex, drinking, it's just a drunk here, and they just getting drunk and having sex. 
It's like somebody is being reckless. They don't even care. All right. And they don't even understand this is confusion. And it's also got something to do with the love spell that they've been under here. It's like reckless sex here. Okay. Sleeping with everybody. Multiple lovers here. All right. Could be all dating. Netflix energy. Chilling. Just having movie dates, hanging out at people's house. One minute they sweet, next minute they salty. All right, in and out energy, not consistent due to the, all these spells. Here's my whole card. I was sleeping around, fucking around. You know, kissing on bitches. All right, Holy Spirit, what are the secrets that we need to know? But they're trying to brainstorm away and hide this energy. But they're also confused about why they keep being stuck in this energy. And it's due to black magic. Somebody constantly putting spells on them. So they can't make the proper decisions in love. Just can't make the proper decisions in love. It's almost like somebody want to block this person out of love. Secret says they're not wearing condoms. They're not sexually protecting themselves. Okay? They're not doing that. The secret is... Um, it's a lot of gossip going around. It's a lot of just people talking shit behind these pe masculine energies back. People that they thought were their friends are not their friends. They're the fake people and it's all coming out. Here's somebody definitely working on their body, but they also could be mingling with somebody who work at the gym. It could be a trainer type of energy. Somebody working out. Somebody met somebody at a gym. This type of energy. All right. All right, so somebody could be fucking around with a spoiled bitch who possibly go to the gym. Who could be fucking around with somebody at the gym, mingling, okay? Still definitely fucking around with a spoiled bitch. Somebody's coming out of depression. They're putting the pieces together, okay? This was in reverse. So somebody's putting the pieces together in regards to a spoiled bitch, okay? Holy Spirit, just the secrets that we need to know. Now they want to come in and offer you this ring and make you a promise and make you feel like they love you. All right. This is what they want with you, divine fam. They like, they feel destroyed without you. There could have been an accident. Someone could have got their car vandalized here. You know, their windows busted out. But now they want to come in and make a promise to you. They feel like their life is going to hell without you. That was in use to that comfort zone that they had. But yet, they hooked up with a copycat bitch. A bitch that they thought that they could make into you. A bitch who tried to act like the divine femme. They got hooked up with this bitch. And this bitch ended up doing what? Destroying their fucking life. Okay? This bitch that they made a fucking promise to. Possibly an engagement to. Possibly a marriage that they had with some bitch who destroyed their life because they tried to make a copycat bitch like you. And it didn't quite work out. Okay? It didn't quite work out. Look at this shit. And right? Divine said, y'all already know the fucking tea what they did. Y'all know that they tried to clone a bitch. Make a bitch like you. Try to get a bad boss bitch. But all they kept coming up was short. Okay? Divine said, y'all already knew the fucking tea that they was dealing with somebody from their fucking past. You know, somebody they had a crush on, somebody they knew for a long time. This could be a wife. This could be a girlfriend that they had a long-term relationship with. All right? They could be staying at a hotel, going back and forth, you know, in hotels, cheating, horn around. Okay? Now somebody's getting a divorce. Somebody's separating from a long-term commitment. This shit is over. All right? So those are some secrets that's going on here, Holy Spirit. All right? Look at more cards coming out. Because somebody could have got caught up at the hotel not wearing a condom. All right? Somebody could have brought home a sexually transmitted disease. Someone could have got busted in the fucking bed. Okay? It's a lot of insecure energy here. Tolerating someone who consistently, you know, um, act in this behavior. Because you're a star. You're a diamond in the rough. You're born to shine. And your masculine energy or feminine energy knows this. Okay? Knows this. Alright? And you have uh, aligned yourself with the universe. You guys have prepared yourself for your mission, your journey. You're ready for that. Okay? And all along, this masculine energy know he fucked up. He fucked up. Okay? He fucked up.
Okay? So, I want to clarify what he fucked up on. And I do want to clarify toxic. Alright? So, we can find out what it is that the Spirit wants us to know. Okay? Holy Spirit, please give me some energy on what are you telling us is toxic in regards to Divine Masculine. Wow! This toxic person wants to come in for you. Okay? And he could possibly have someone pregnant. It could be a new pregnancy. Okay? A new pregnancy. I think I told you guys that in one of the previous videos. It could be a new pregnancy. Holy Spirit, let us know why the masculine energy could be toxic at this time. Because people are gossiping, talking shit. Alright? It's a beautiful sunny day today, guys. Alright? I have been up just chilling. Alright? Alright? What's toxic about this person is that they're depressed. They're trying to come out of depression. And this is why um, they can't heal. They busy stuck in the past over shit. They holding grudges. They can't put the pieces together. Okay? About what's going on. They don't even see themselves as toxic in other people's lives. Their behavior. The shit that they do. Alright? They're stuck in fantasy land. Addictions. Holes. Strippers. The strip club. This is why they're toxic. They could be fucking around with these hoes at the strip club. Okay? They could have an addiction about going to the strip club. This is in reverse. Alright? So they was trying to brainstorm a way to fix their lives. But it came out in reverse that they're not even trying. They don't even try. They like their toxic ass life. And they think that people are supposed to deal with that shit. But Divine is saying, game over. Game over. This toxic bullshit don't work anymore. Okay? You know, now you might have to defend yourself. It could be some situations where they can have some legal issues or just happen to defend themselves through all the bullshit that they did through other people. Somebody might need an attorney. It could be a fight. It could be an altercation. All right? And now they still want to come in here after you with all this bullshit going on. And they also possibly want to fight for you. So they feel like they lost some of everything here, game over, but they still want to come in here and fight for you and whatever you got going on and try to break that up and let somebody know she's my divine film. Okay? Look at that. Because they're a hater. They don't want you to be happy. They don't want you to be with anybody else. And this is what, this is what the divine is saying. Okay? So let's see why do the divine master think he fucked up. Okay? Give me some energy on why he fucked up, Holy Spirit. Why did he fuck up? All right. He could have invested in a business, a hair salon, a nail salon with a karmic energy here. It's a lot of gossip going on about them keeping you a secret about this union. It's like people don't believe it. You know, he fucked up and kept you a secret. You know, you guys could have found out some gossip about the masculine at a nail salon, at a hair salon. It's something going on there where you were found out and he fucked up that he kept you a secret and then took on a karmic energy and invested with them instead of investing with you. And now this person all in his feelings about the way he treated you, divine them. You were the investment. You were the prize. You were the gift from divine. And he chose a lower budget energy and invested with them. And now he's all in his feelings because what I say, you were the fucking diamond in the rough. You were the diamond, the gift that the divine gave the masculine. And they chose fucking dirt. They chose their worst nightmare. They chose a karmic energy that destroyed their lives. Okay? They chose that. Okay? What did I say? Thank you, Holy Spirit. They chose this spoiled bitch over you. When they know that the divine sent you as a gift to them. Okay? As a gift. They chose that energy right over you, okay? And now they want to come in and set the record straight about the situation, about what they did, who they chose over you. They want to set the record straight, okay, about what's going on here. Look at that. Thank you, Holy Spirit. They want to express to you what happened. They want to reveal things that happened. It's a recording here. Somebody want to just really let you know what's going on here. They really want to set the record straight. They're ready to come clean. They're ready to confess everything to you. And some shit is about to explode. It also could be some shit coming out. 
somebody might reveal something online about this individual. All right. And then somebody want to come in and fix this situation, give you some truth and clarity. But they know they have fucked up with you, divine. And they know that you are aligned and you can help them get aligned and heal. Because your masculine energy, no, he have fucked up. All right. This is all about you. OK. And this is all about how he know he feel. All right. And also about this spoiled bitch that he chose over you. OK. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So the next energy I want to get is let's clarify on this spoiled bitch. Holy Spirit, give us an energy on this spoiled bitch. What do we need to know? All right. So she could be investigating you. She could be trying to see what's going on with you and the divine masculine. OK, Holy Spirit. What they say? Karmic video time. OK, karmic video time. Look at that. This spoiled bitch is promiscuous. She could be a hoe. She could be sleeping around with everybody, you know, and their brother, their uncle, their dad, okay? She could just be sleeping around, always acting like she's super busy, all right? So she could be ghosting the masculine energy and in and out with this person, all right? And this bitch is money hungry. She could be with your masculine energy strictly for money. Or she a hustler bitch, and hey, she got multiple men that she collect money from, Okay? So that's what she did, all right? Because the masculine might not be enough. She hang out at the sports bars. She could work at a bar, all right? She could be a drinker. She could be into sports. Here's the police. So it could be a police situation going on. But this bitch is deceptive. She's wearing a mask. And she gave your masculine energy a fake-ass apology. He accepted that, fell for her game, and took her back, only to fall back in the same cycle of bullshit. All right. And that's why he know he did what? Fucked up. All right. That's why he's in his feelings. OK, because he kept you a secret. So let's clarify you, divine fam, keeping you a secret. All right. Look at this. It was a bad fucking choice. He is fucked up in the head about how he abandoned you, how he left you. You could be a single parent. You could have divine masculine children, a possibly a son. OK, but he know that he fucked up and left you and he chose this toxic ass energy over you. Look at this. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Y'all see how that shit jumped out? Look at that. He chose his worst nightmare over you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. My energy is so strong right now. It scares me sometimes. All right. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Look at that and kept you in some private ass relationship, kept you a secret while he chose his worst fucking nightmare over you. And all he got was total drama, total bullshit. OK, total drama and bullshit. Holy Spirit. They said we can go through the whole deck and look at that shit. Did I say I heard the police? Look at the bottom card. The fucking police. OK, the fucking police It's some shit going down in this energy. OK. I think like all of the fucking worst cards in this deck fucking came out, you know, trying to explain the divine masculine here and his karmic situation and what's really going on here. OK, so what I want to clarify here is I got this deck and the spirit talking and I'm going to ask the spirit for the messages. What do we need to know in regards to this Holy spirit? What do we need to know? And I'm going to clarify the messages with another deck. Holy spirit, tell us what we need to know. Here's the messages. Look at this. There will be a new opportunity of change. All right. There will be new opportunities coming, guys. And this is mother, father, and God. All right. So your spiritual family up in heaven are proud of you guys. A lot of you guys are pushing through shit. A lot of you guys are learning these lessons. Okay. You are learning these lessons. And you are all about your growth. You're putting your energy in another direction and not so focused on this right here. Look at this, because you guys know that this is a learning experience. You are learning so much from this situation. You know, it's a light at the end of the tunnel. You guys have had epiphanies. You guys have had a lot of things illuminated to you. Because divine saying this is a learning experience. All right. But you still got to do the work. You still got to do the soul work. You still got to learn. 
You still got to focus on what you're learning. It's so much more to learn. So it's like spiritual growth is still needed here for you to get on your path. Okay? Thank you, Holy Spirit, for your messages. They are so beautiful. What did I say? Your spiritual growth. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It's so much more to learn. All they do is confirm all of my messages. When you work with the Spirit and when you believe in the Spirit and you give His messages, He confirms for you. And this is my confirmation that I am a messenger for the Holy Spirit. You have to believe in the growth. You have to believe in the message. And that way, you guys can have that joy and contentment that the Spirit offer you. This is all a healing process. It's all about growth. You got to come out of your head, okay? And you really got to learn what this is. You're not meant to stay stuck, all right? Divine Fem, I feel like I'm talking to you because y'all got to learn. You know, the masculine, they go in and out. This shit been going on for years with them. So it's like we can't stay stuck. We got to grow, okay? Because it's time for us to enjoy life. It's time for us to love who we are, love our body, our flesh, treat us like we're sacred. We have to do this for ourselves if we can't get it from the outside. We have to work on ourselves. And that's that do the work card right here that stands out. Do the work on yourself. All right? Learn to love yourself. Accept that spiritual growth that you're leveling up. And sometimes people, places, environments, they might not be for you anymore. Okay? Thank you, Holy Spirit. You have to learn how to love yourself. You know, it's all about that. You're supposed to get the message that you're not a fucking side piece, bitch. That you are a wife. Okay? You are a wife. You are a divine film. You are beautiful energy. All right? It's all about growth here. It's all about you learning to love yourself and just learning this lesson. All right? A lot of you girls are, are moving. You ladies are moving. Y'all moving on up in the world. You leveling up. You getting a new home. You moving in with somebody else. It could be budget reasons. But divine saying, you are moving. All right? You guys are definitely relocating. It could be new job opportunities here. All right? But you have definitely got to let go of the resentments of the past, of this hurt and this pain. You got to let it go. It's not doing anything for you. You're not growing from it. All right? If you're going to hold on to it. Okay? You got to learn a lesson from it. And look at that. You got to plan your life. It's your world, your way. Don't get stuck in resentments and pains. And not plan your life. Okay? Your world, your way. Live your dreams. All right? So know the purpose. Okay? And it's like, you're going to have to realize that you see how somebody is. You see their ways, their behaviors. They have showed you what they're about, how they live. The deceptive behavior, they can't be trusted. Okay? You have gave them numerous chances to get their shit together. But at some point, it's all about you now. And you got to get your shit together. Okay? You see shit clearly. Okay? And sometimes you will have to live without a motherfucker. Okay? You will have to live without they ass. If they can't bring you the serenity and the peace that you are seeking. All right? And this is also the energy that maybe some of, you know, you guys have flipped the script. Maybe it's some same sex energy here. Maybe you guys have went another route. Okay, totally. Maybe you had someone there supportive for you and you have fell in love with the same sex. This is vice versa energy. Okay, so I just want to give you guys a few wisdom. Look at that. Somebody's still getting that fucking car and y'all getting a Beamer. All right, not a regular card. This is a beamer, okay? It's Look at that, throat chakra. It's still there. So the body said it might even be a surprise to you, okay? Look at that, yin. So y'all waiting for yang. Somebody's in yin mode, but yang is not here yet because the body said it's still stuck between worlds, okay? It's still stuck between worlds, the Holy Spirit, what is the wisdom and advice that we can give? All right. They say, yes, somebody needs to open up their heart chakra, express themselves, their emotions, their feelings, 444. 
All right? 333 communications coming in, guys. But it's all about how you handle that. Don't be afraid to say no, I hear. All right? What's the wisdom, Holy Spirit? You guys are tired of feeling alone and orphaned and lonely. You know? You feel orphaned, like no one's there for you. This could be vice versa energy, and it's due to mental conflict. All right? Of what you think in your head. This is exchanging gifts. Somebody might want to bring you a gift. But you guys could be a gift to each other. Okay? And somebody's ready to go to distance to make this work. Go to distance to have this journey and this union. Okay? Somebody's ready to put the work in. That number 11. You could be saying 1111. You guys need to step back and breathe. Look at this. I said 1111. So 4 and 7 is 11. And 9 and 2 is 11. So you guys are saying 1111. And they're saying breathe. Step back. And be prepared for what's to come. Okay? Be prepared. This is the wisdom energy from the Holy Spirit. All right? If you guys like to book your own personal reading, please email me at queenofwands50 at gmail.com. And all it needs is mending. This is what you guys need to mend this relationship, to mend this union, to come to peace with each other. Whether you guys stay together or go your separate ways. There just needs to be a mending so this cycle can close out properly. All right? So this is what I have. I hope you all have a beautiful day. And this is part two of my Tuesday night groove. It mellows on into Wednesday morning. All right? Bye-bye.